Well, somebody's getting canceled a lot. You guys seen that recently? So I have been covering, uh, you know, different stuff as Mr. Beast has repeatedly gotten canceled. Though I didn't cover the last one. I didn't even bother. Or no, the last two. I haven't covered the last two. I didn't even bother with it. Long while ago, uh, Mr. Beast had to cancel a store event. Canceled. You're bad. You're bad, Mr. Beast. How dare you not be able to get there because the people at Piggly Wiggly blew the lid on your whole event and screwed everything up. And then a bunch of scumbag people stripped the shelves thinking you were going to pay for everything. How dare you? He was canceled for quote unquote trying to be Jesus. Okay. And there was a stupid move on like the Christian community's part and like Catholics or whoever else was in on that. I'm a Christian. I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty serious Christian. Serious enough that a lot of stuff y'all are doing these days just is a no-no for me. Um, most of what society's up to these days, actually. Then, he was cancelled again because he said, Hey guys, when you're at Walmart, if you see that the Feastables area is messed up, if you want to leave the place a little better than you found it, you could do that. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys forever. And then everybody said, Oh, that's nice. But you're trying to employ free child labor, Mr. Beast. Cancelled. Gotcha. He doubled down on the Jesus thing and helped a thousand people get their hearing fixed. Which is a baller move. Little way to kind of poke back while still doing good and not just like messing around wasting money on arguing with people. You know what I mean? And then, just a few weeks ago, uh, the whole thing with, uh, with Chris happened. So why isn't Mr. Beast getting cancelled like every other YouTuber? Because generally there's a cycle with YouTubers. They get very rich and then... You know, they find a niche and then they do something that someone or a bunch of people don't like and they get canceled and then they lose a bunch of subscribers and blah, 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 blah. And then three months later, everybody forgets and then they go back to business as usual, except maybe someone in a comment section will bring it up every great now and again. But if you ignore it, it'll go away because nobody's having fun anymore. One, Mr. Beast can't be canceled because he's ignoring these things. Or if he does say anything about it, it's in a pretty positive light can't really throw stones um, if there's nothing to throw them at, you know what I mean? Uh, and two, his business system is partially to blame for not being able to cancel him. You have your money, you give it away, then you make a video about giving that money away. That video makes a bunch of money, and then you give all that money away too and just barely pay for your operations to keep going. Like, he's not making very much money. Like, he's putting some away from reti for retirement, and he should be. But he wasn't even doing that at first. He was just giving it all away. So you can't say that he's into any money schemes because you can physically see where the money is going. And if you add things up, that's, I mean, that's where the money's going. Um, and he's giving away pretty much everything else in prizes. Um, and he's just doing a bunch of charitable events and da 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 You get to see where the money's going. So you can't say that there's a money scheme there and take him to court and stuff because you just watch the videos and you can tell there's no money scheme. You'd, you would be laughing stock in any courtroom. And he's so unbelievably generous that even if he was in a money scheme, who would want to take him down? Who wants to fight Mr. Beast on that? He's doing so much good stuff that even if he did have a money scheme going, who cares? I mean, he's taking his friends on like crazy, like super expensive airplane rides and helping people and like having FBI agents hunt him down so they can get a bunch of money or whatever and having competitions and doing game shows for real which all the all the game shows that you remember that you think like all oh, these people won prizes it was great yeah right but they had to pay their own taxes on the prizes and then they could no longer afford the prizes meaning that they would have to forfeit them, the game show would keep them and resell them to keep the whole thing going. Almost nobody ever got to claim a prize. It's so ridiculously stupid. Unless you're rich, you can't claim it. Except Mr. Beast gives you the money and pays the taxes himself. So he gives you your $200,000 prize and then pays the taxes off for you so that you can keep everything and you don't have to forfeit it. Or pays the tax stuff on your Lamborghini. So you're not paying like gift tax and whatever else he is. Another reason why his business is so unbelievably awesome. Because it's a business of just giving people crap and making content on the other side. I mean, like, it's just a win, 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 win scenario. The way I see it, just how Gen Z functions, maybe it's not even our fault. 
But the way Gen Z functions is when there's something good, there can't be. I think we've had all of our heroes taken away and like, you know, everything that we thought we knew was good turned out to be bad that we're just expecting it at this point. We're expecting that Mr. Beast is this evil scumbag and I, I just, I don't think he is. I think we're wrong. Dude, th they gave away 456,000 in the video. It has 450 million views. 102 million, 146 million, 139 million. 164, 76 million, 91 million, 211 million, 143 million, 172 million, 207 million, 84 million, 150 million, 153 million, 124 million. I think nine times out of 10, cancel culture just cancels people that don't need to be canceled. Like, oh, I'm so sorry that, you know, they... they I don't know, said something mean to another YouTuber, whatever. People make mistakes. Enough, man. Or they said the wrong word on stream. Did the PewDiePie canceling thing really need to happen? Did we need to have adpocalypse over that trash? For real? PewDiePie did not need to be canceled any of the times that he was canceled, as far as I can freaking tell. Um, Mr. Beast has not needed to be canceled for anything. You know? And most of the time when people are getting canceled, it's just like to get around free speech. They're just going like, oh, well, I'm just free speech, but we need to stop this person from having a, a business so nobody says anything that we don't like. Get real. Get real. Have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many pieces of... There are like three different layers of glass in here. Now two. 